Ariel Hawani in New York City getting set for Bellator 180 alongside Naaman Gracie, who meets Dave Marfone this Saturday on the Bellator 180 prelims from Madison Square Garden on Spike TV. Naaman, it's good to see you. Initially, there was some talk of you maybe fighting Dylan Dennis, which was a very interesting idea, especially for BJJ fans. It fell through. Are you disappointed the fight didn't happen? Um, what can I say? Yes and no. Like, I don't really care who I'm fighting, you know? Like, it was... People expected that to be a, a good fight, but it's not happening, but let's move on, you know? So maybe you're a little tired of talking about Dylan. Yeah, man. I, I don't want to talk about this guy anymore, you know? Were you actually offered him, though? A what? Sorry? You Were you offered Dylan Dennis at yes, any I point? Yes, I was, yeah. Okay. yeah. You they accepted? Offered. I accepted. They said he accepted, but it didn't happen, but... I don't care, man, you know. Let the kid uh, have a couple fights, and maybe in the future we, we meet again, you know. And you have a history with him, right? You're, you're not a big fan of his? No, I have nothing against him, to tell the truth, you know. No. Weren't you supposed to compete in BJJ several years ago and it fell through? Yeah, but that happens in BJJ all the time, you know. And maybe he had a reason that he couldn't show up, and okay. it didn't happen, you know. But I have nothing against him. I've heard some people say that they don't believe that he'll ever fight in MMA. Do you believe that he will? I don't know. It's hard to say, you know. I think so. He got to, if he wants to get paid, like he said, he's yeah. going to get paid, he got to fight, you know. That's the thing. You don't get paid to talk. You get paid to fight, you know. He said he's the highest paid fighter in Bellator. Do you believe that? No. No. <laughs> Fedor is here. Come on, That's man. True. You know, like, Fedor, Sonnen, like, no way. Would you like to talk to Bellator about trying to make, whenever he wants to fight, whenever he wants to debut, would you like to be the guy who welcomes him to Bellator? No. I don't care. Okay. I don't care about him. All right. Yeah. You moved on. Yeah. Okay. What do you know about Dave Marfon? Had, had you ever heard of him when you were offered him? So, not really. I never heard uh, uh, about him. Um, what I could see of him, I couldn't see much film. He looks to be a really strong guy, explosive, you know. I think he's going to try to come uh, hard on the beginning. And I'm uh, going to do what I always try to do, you know, try to grab him, take him down, and, and finish him with a submission, you know. This is a very big deal, not only for the sport of MMA to once again be back at Madison Square Garden, but for a member of the Gracie family to compete in MMA at MSG. Yeah. Are you aware of this? Like, is, is, does, does this feel like a big deal to you? Does it feel like a massive feather in your cap to be the first Gracie family member to fight in MMA at MSG? That just makes me happy, you know. Like, over here, I'm just enjoying the ride. And uh, I'm just, uh, I want to, to Saturday to come, you know, like I'm, I'm really happy that I, I'm going to be the one fighting and uh, I, I'm here to represent, you know. Will you have a lot, I mean, I know you train out of New York and the Henzo Gracie team is here. Are you expecting a lot of members of the team to be at the event on Saturday? Yeah, we're going to have a big crowd for sure, yeah. you know, it's going to be awesome. I have a lot of students, family members. Uh, friends, so it's gonna it's gonna be a good night. Why do you think that? I mean, of course, Henzo had success and Hoist has had success, but the new generation, for some reason, hasn't quite broken through. You're doing a great job. You're undefeated, and you've looked very good. But why has the younger generation of the Gracie family not had the same kind of success as you know Henzo and Hoist back in the day? I think the main reason is because we don't have many Gracies competing right now. You know. Um, I remember when I was younger and I wasn't really training hard for like a year or something like that. Hanzo caught me on the academy and he pulled pull me aside and say, hey man, what are you doing with your life, you know? Like you're going to let uh, our history end right. or are you going to keep the, the legacy, you know? What, what are you going to do? You want to be a teacher or you want to be a fighter? I think you have uh, potential to, to be a good fighter. So you got to train. What do you want? From, and from that day, I put in my mind that I, I wanted to represent, you know. So I wish that my other family members, my cousins, they see me fighting and they also come to the sport, you know. Because right now we don't have many people here representing, you know. So I wish we have more. We have so many cousins, man. It's crazy. Come on, guys. Come fight. Boy. Stop teaching so much and let's fight. Boy. What's up? Well, you are doing your part, yeah. and that is great to see. You'd like them for uh, you know to follow suit. Have they told you, okay, you keep going and we'll follow you, or not really much interest right now? Uh, no, not much. No. You know, <laughs> I think like fighting is not an easy thing to yeah. do. You know, so I hope they they see that I, what I'm doing. They follow my steps and, and come to compete. You know, well, keep it up. Good luck to you on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.